All right, folks, welcome back to the garage. Today, what we're going to be doing is uh, some body work on the fenders. Um, I primed it, already got it an epoxy primer. Didn't do that on camera. Um, it's not that exciting. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna do some body work. Uh, I have never done actual proper body filling and block sanded and all that stuff, so it'll be a new experience for me. But uh, if I could take a moment, all right, there's over 90% of y'all that uh, aren't subscribed, so if you take a second, click that. Click the bell, don't click the bell, I get it. All right, you don't want a million notifications, but it would really help the channel. We're a tiny fledgling, minuscule, minnow of a channel, but uh, you know, I'd really appreciate it. But uh, anyway, got my coffee. Let's uh, <clears throat> head over and do some body work. All right, so you can you probably remember, for those of you that have seen it, right, there was a whole bunch of... Uh, grinding through body filler and paint and everything down to bare metal um and what i want to do is epoxy primer this to seal it and then i'm going to put some body filler here so you can probably see all through here um there's a bunch of low spots so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna float some uh, body fill in there and try and block sand that back smooth so we'll start there it seems to be the easiest but there are quite a few spots on this fender the other fender driver's door, passenger's door, the entire hood. Oh God, help me. Uh, anyway, um, so we're going to start here. It's a pretty smooth substrate, so hopefully I'll be able to do that with uh, a reasonable level of uh, proficiency. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, take a little bit of this wax and grease remover and get that wax and grease removed. Let's get some uh, some of this stuff mixed up. All right, so I'm sure that was probably the least efficient way of, of doing this, but um, I'm relatively happy, you know, nice and smooth, filled in the gap. There's a little spot right there you might be able to see that I need to go back in and actually fill with some more body filler. A couple little pieces here. Um, I think I may have something stuck in my scraper when I scraped it, but um, feels good, looks good. I'm not gonna guide coat it because race car or track car, whatever. Um, there are a couple spots you might be able to see here where I uh, sanded through down to bare metal. So I need to finish doing up right the arch here and then there's a whole mess right up here that I need to fix. Um, I'm not gonna bore you to death doing that on camera. So I'll get that done and then what I'll do is I'm going to fill in this little gap again and then I'm gonna respray the whole thing with epoxy primer um, specifically to uh, you know, cover, seal in that, that bare metal. Um, you know, I don't want to miss anything and have this thing accidentally rust out because I didn't feel like uh, doing it properly the uh, the entire way. So 
We'll get a couple of these bits fixed. We'll epoxy primer it and then put some high build and then re-blocks in the whole thing. Super excited. All right. This is where we ended up. So you can see, obviously, I wore through to some of the paint. It was painted red originally, but I'm pretty happy with how smooth it is. There's a big divot right here. Got that filled in. Ground back smooth. Same deal down here. Um, not sure how this will turn out, but we'll see. It's a bit wavy. It looks like doing the worm, whatever. Uh, <laughs> so that's good. I'm actually happy with the fender. Uh, perfectly adequate. <laughs> Now, if we come on over yonder. Oh, fender down. Anyway, like I was saying, so looking over here, I don't know if you can see, but this is all kinds of beat up and rough and a little bit there. So I'll need to float that and then something along here. Um, again, not going for perfection, going for, yeah, it looks pretty good, but uh, this might be a bit rough. Anyway, onward. All right, filled, sanded. Ah, oh, jeez, it's a miserable job. I commend the people that do this for a living, but uh, got everything I think good enough, hopefully good enough. We'll see if it's good enough, but uh, I'm gonna wash it down with soap and water and then I am going to wax and grease remover it and then I'm gonna paint the snot out of these fenders and hopefully it looks good uh, and if it does I'll go ahead and high build it today as well all right so here's the deal I'm kind of crap at this whole YouTube thing um, I got I, I finished the body work epoxy primer this and put two coats of high build on it last night didn't record a lick of it um, and then let this cure overnight. So what I'm going to do now is take some of these 320 um, grit sandpaper and knock all the high spots down to get it hopefully pretty smooth. And hopefully then I am good to go. And then I'll do the doors today and then potentially start primering the rest of this thing <clears throat> so I can get it in paint. But... Anyway, I'll try and remember to record stuff better for y'all. Thanks, bye.
Have I said how much I hate body work? Because if not, maybe I need to reiterate it. But uh, anyway, so I got all the high build knocked back with uh, 320, uh, which everything I've read is sufficient to get all the hills and valleys and stuff kind of squared away, uh, but also scratchy enough for the actual paint to stick. So um, you probably don't care, don't want to see, etc. cetera. Uh, I still need to do that fender. Um, so I think we'll wrap it up here. I'm gonna go do that off camera. But uh, anyway, hopefully it was a good angle. Uh, appreciate y'all coming along. Like, comment, subscribe, etc. And wish me luck with all this body work. I'll see y'all next time.